what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today we're doing the breakdown video for the tank davis versus rolando romero uh secondary lightweight title fight that's taking place saturday may 28th in the main event of a um showtime card heading into this fight you know tank davis is um you know he's making i, I believe this is his uh second defense of the lightweight title that he won a couple years back um, when he defeated Yuriurkis Gamboa. Um, he moved back, actually it's his third technical defense. He moved down to 130 but still defended the lightweight title to knock out Leo Santa Cruz. Excuse me, he moved back up to 140 to uh, uh, win the secondary title at, at super lightweight and then moved back down to uh, lightweight in his last fight against Isaac Cruz, got a decision victory there, and is now heading into this one uh, to take on Rolando Romero for the secondary belt with the winner. Essentially, if the WBA orders it, once uh, once you know the fight is done with, if the WBA orders it, the winner would be in line to fight uh, whoever comes out of the uh, one or two fights that are going to take place between George Cambosos and Devin Haney, um, who are fighting for the undisputed lightweight title. So we'll see. Well, you know, we'll see what uh, comes from this fight. You know, Tank Davis coming in a sizable favorite. And uh, with that, how we do my breakdown videos are, um, if you haven't seen these before, is we start with the we we actually start with the favorite or the um or the champion in this case tank davis and um, we ask the same four questions but first we talk about what they've done rolling into the fight and then we ask the same uh four questions of each fighter then i say if it, is it is it better for boxing if one or the other wins and then the uh, last question is um the last question, or the last thing I comment on is who do I think is going to win this fight? So this is a full breakdown of the fight between Davis and Rolando Romero. So let's get into it. So we start with the, um, the Tank Davis. What has he done rolling into this fight? And, you know, his last three fights have been, um, have been solid ones, you know. Um, he... A couple of years ago, I want to say we got about a year and a half now. Uh, he took on Leo Santa Cruz and dominated. Uh, well, you know, scored a brutal knockout victory over Santa Cruz in that fight. So, you know, it was a big win right there. He really um, kind of set the tone with that uh, victory. Um, you know, moving back down to 130. He came in great shape, and he scored a brutal knockout, knockout of the year in my book, for 20, uh, 2020, and became a, a two-division champion in one fight. He became the secondary champ at 135 and was a super champion at 130. Then he moved up last year, um, I believe it was June, and took on Mario Barrios. He moved up to uh, super lightweight, moved up two weight classes and stopped Barrios in a very good fight, stopped him in the 11th round and um, captured the secondary title at 140. And uh, then in his last fight, he moved back down and took on Isaac Cruz. It was supposed to be Rolando Romero, but he, he ended up fighting Cruz instead and walked away with a um, hard fought but deserving 12 round unanimous decision in what was a close fight though. There were some people that thought Cruz won that fight. It was a good one. Um, he walked away the victor and held on to his secondary belt. So now, heading into this one, you know, Gervonta Davis has a lot to prove. And, um, you know, it, this is technically his last fight with um, Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions. So he's going to, you know, be a free agent after this. And it's going to be interesting to see which direction he wants to go in as a free agent. If he wants to sign with a different promoter you know or stay a free agent and just sign smaller contracts so gonna be interesting because most of the fights at 135 you're not gonna get a lot of pbc fights at 135 so um top rank would be the choice in terms of the bigger fights but you also have uh the zone with ryan garcia and devin haney banging around over there 
and a lot of people thinking that those guys are going to be the ones that come out of all this when the smoke clears or at least at the very least th those are the future fights so he might want to consider that but he's got to get through Rolando Romero first and Davis you know is really out to prove that he's one of the top dogs and I, I really believe he wants the biggest fights possible he wants to he wants to make sure whoever is promoting him is going to get him the biggest fights possible so i think for this one he wants to have an, an outstanding performance uh you know i really believe that and i think there's a good chance he's going to get that um against uh rolando romero but what kind of style does davis need to have to beat rolando romero and i think it's just that same you know, uh, same effective aggressiveness, boxer puncher style that he has. He doesn't need to go for broke because that's the kind of fight I think Rolando Romero wants. I think if he boxes and sets up the knockout, but is also jumping in and landing big shots in between, I think he's going to be very successful against Romero. And I think he can um, definitely uh, make an impact with that kind of style. He's got a half inch uh, disadvantage in the reach. So not much on that one, um, and a two and a half inch disadvantage on the height. So you know, I mean, it's not not anything that he hasn't faced before, and I really think he's coming in very positive and looking for the knockout. But I think he's starting to see that boxing to set up the knockout is a very um, is the way to go for somebody with his style because he definitely has. Uh, very good boxing ability on top of the power so he needs a big win and I think he's searching for that so the style of fight needs to be box a puncher throw his jab but definitely look to the body hook to the head and that straight left down the middle and those are the keys to victory in my opinion for Davis now can Davis win this fight by knockout and I think he can Davis really has good power um, however we have yet to see that power at 135 you know and i think heading into this one he's going to be looking for that he's really going to be focused on sitting down on his punches and going after that knockout so um i you know i definitely do think he can win by knockout um but i don't know if if at 135 davis is going to be that one punch knockout type of guy i think he's going to be more of the uh break you down type fighter which hey that's perfectly fine because he's entertaining as hell to watch but we got to see what he intent you know what what he does heading in so you know what what he decides to do and how Romero fights as well now can Davis win a decision and I think he can win a decision um you know I don't think he wants that I think he wants to finish this fight but I I think Davis can win the decision I think he's the better boxer of the two so he can accumulate the points to win a decision what does the win mean for Javante Davis? Well, it's not going to be his biggest win by any means, but it's going to keep Davis rolling in the right direction, especially depending on how he wins, you know? He wants to have an impressive win and leave no doubt. And um, also, you know, he wants to, this kind of win you want to add to your highlight reel. That's what the, this kind of win means. That's how, the, you know, and so a win here keeps him rolling in the right direction. Now, what does a loss mean for Javante Davis? And that would be devastating for Davis right now. He cannot afford to lose this fight. It's a fight he's coming in a solid favorite as he's trying to build his brand, build his resume, and he just really can't afford to lose this fight. Um, even a close decision, because nobody really knows Rolando Romero. Yeah, R Rolando Romero will make a splash. He'll become a player, but because we still don't know officially how good Javante Davis is, you know, that's still kind of in the air because he hasn't fought that top five lightweight opponent yet. And so because of that, it's it, it just kind of, you know, he needs, he definitely needs to win this fight. So a loss really would be devastating to him. Now, let's move over to the challenger. The undefeated Rolando Romero coming in 14-0, 12 knockouts. Um, rolling into this fight, you know, uh, He's coming off of a nice win over Anthony Yidget last year. He's a former world title challenger at 140. But Yidget came in way overweight. He broke him down. He stopped him. That was bouncing back off of a fight that most people thought he lost against Jackson Mourinhas, who he defeated by a very controversial 12-round unanimous decision. 
and then Mourinho's went on and got knocked out against Richard Comey. So right now, Rolando Romero, there's a lot of doubters. You know, he's he's solid, he's got some talent, but we really don't know how good he is. And coming into this fight, he's, he's coming off of a nice uh, stoppage win over Anthony Yidget, but he's got a lot to prove against the against Gervonta Tank Davis. So. Um, what kind of fight does Romero need to fight to beat Davis? I think he needs to use the Mario Barrios template and really make it a uh, try to make it a dog fight, but also jab. I think if if he can catch um, Davis jab for jab when Davis is trying to work his way in and land that big shot, I think he can really win this fight. And look for the uppercuts. Look for the counter punch on the uppercuts. Davis likes to throw that straight left hand uppercut. If he can, you know, counter that with a big overhand right or or something, he might be able to, uh, you know, knock Davis off balance and, you know, catch him with a cold one and, um, you know, really swing the momentum in the fight. So, you know, that's the kind of thing he needs to do and just, you know, try to outwork Javante Davis. That's really going to be key. If he can outwork him, take him into deep waters and, um, you know, maybe maybe stop him, that would be what he needs to do. Now, can Rolando Romero win this fight by knockout? I mean, I guess, you know, Romero has solid power. I don't know if he if he's got one-punch knockout power over Javante Davis, leaning towards a no, but I wouldn't completely rule out him stopping Davis in the late rounds, middle to late rounds. You know, I, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. So I think it's possible that he knocks Davis out. Um, do I think he can win by a decision? I mean, he'd have to outwork Davis. You know, Davis has been in a couple fights where he's lost some rounds. So, um, yeah, I think a, a decision is possible for Romero. Now, what does a win mean, mean for Rolando Romero? Oh, it, it's his ticket to the party. If he can beat Javante Tank Davis and upset him in any kind of fashion, way, or form, he's automatically a top 10, top 5 lightweight with a win right there. He becomes a secondary champ and he moves straight into a potential world title fight. So, um, you know, a, a, a win over Davis would be huge for Rolando Romero. Biggest of his career would mean everything to him. <coughs> Excuse me. What, is, uh, what does a loss mean for Rolando Romero? Well, depending on how he loses. If he goes out there and gets his ass whipped, gets knocked out, a loss is gonna be, it's gonna be tough for him because He's not going to be looked at as a real player, but there's also the side to look at that um, this is kind of a no-lose situation for, it's kind of a win-win for Romero. Pulls out the upset, nobody's expecting that, boom, he, it's a splash. But if he loses, nobody's expecting him to win, so um, it's kind of one of those things, but it, depending on how he loses can affect him going moving forward. If he goes out there and gets his ass whipped, he's really got to start over from scratch, and people are really going to doubt how good he is. But he goes out there and puts up a good fight, really shows everybody that he can, you know, bang with a guy on the level of Davis, then that that's really going to turn people's heads, possibly get him top 10 consideration, and he could likely continue to roll towards a bigger fight later. So, depends on how he loses, but... I don't think a loss is so devastating to him right now because he's coming in a clear underdog. I don't think a lot of people are expecting him to win. Now, is it better for boxing if Davis or Romero wins this fight? And it's absolutely better for boxing if Javante Tank Davis wins. He's already a known star in the sport and he hasn't even really beat that high level opposition yet. So, um, it, it's, it's huge based on the potential that Davis is going to bring for fights like Ryan Garcia and um, and what's his name, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, uh, potentially down the road. So, uh, you know, it's absolutely bigger, better for boxing if if uh, Davis wins. But it's not going to be terrible, terrible for boxing if Rolando Romero wins because he's young, he's undefeated, and a win would definitely, uh, you know, make his star, Brian Sh Bri shine brighter and really throw him out there so not going to be bad for boxing if Romero wins so now my prediction who do I think is going to win the secondary lightweight title fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Rolando Romero on May 28th 
And I just can't see Romero with the experience beating Javante Davis. I think Davis knows how good he is and he knows what to expect from from um, from this guy from uh, what's his name um, Romero. And I think he's going to just break him down and stop him in the middle of the later rounds and retain his title and stay undefeated. But, you know, Romero's one of those guys that has a puncher's chance. He's a young guy, and, you know, he really does have a puncher's chance to pull off the upset here. And I wouldn't be completely surprised if he did. But, yeah, Davis is a clear favorite for a reason, and I got him winning this fight. So um, that's pretty much it right there. That's uh, that's the breakdown for uh, Javante Tank Davis and Rolando Romero as they will collide on Saturday, May 28th in the main event of a Showtime pay-per-view card. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, leave me a comment, or um, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. And I'm True Boxing. 